Hi you guys, quick unboxing of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Uh, I've just received this, I've been waiting about 4 or 5 days for it uh, here in Spain. I've finally got my hands onto it. Uh, lots of these unboxings on uh, the web. I'll just show you quickly uh, the specs on the uh, European version. LTE CPU is the 2.3 quad core Snapdragon processor. 3 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, HD, full HD 1080p recording. And what I'm going to do quickly in this, because there's been an awful lot of uh, unboxings done lately, I'm going to do an unboxing and quickly go through uh, what I feel is the uh, design uh, features on uh, both the Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. To be honest, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 have been really impressed with it over the last 12 months. The build quality is absolutely fantastic. I'm uh, convinced the build quality is better than the white version. It's not unpretentious, it's, uh, it has got a metallic type side uh, bar all the way around it but it's more like a gunmetal metallic and it doesn't look uh, too tacky. Likewise the back uh, with its pattern uh, in the uh, titanium grey looks great as well. Screen quality uh, very good on the uh, Note 2. So we'll just go through my opinions quickly once we unbox this on the uh, two devices. So as you can see we've got the uh, Note 3, still uh, got the seal on it and we'll uh, cut through the seal. And we'll do a quick unboxing. It's going to be a quick video. I'm going to get a lot of benchmarks out, other videos out to you uh, quite quickly. Uh, so we'll stand it up there. You can see it's in the box. We'll pull a tab to get it out of the box. Uh, I won't go through the rest of the things in the box. You've all seen the other unboxings by now. Uh, I'll just give you my first impressions. We'll get the uh, back cover off. And first impressions of the back. Uh, it is a plasticky feel back, but it feels quite warm to the touch. Uh, not as nice as the original uh, Nexus 7. Uh, excuse my crazy dogs there. Not as uh, nice as the original uh, Nexus 7 uh, rubberized uh, uh, driving glove type leather back, which uh, is much nicer. Uh, let's have a quick look at the screen. Yeah, the screen design very, very thin. Uh, I have to say that and light at the moment without the battery in. Uh, one thing I was uh, concerned in uh, looking at was this uh, faux uh, uh, metal uh, rim that goes around the edge. It looks quite realistic uh, and it is plastic. Uh, you can see the uh, new uh, micro uh, 3 uh, USB port on the bottom with the two little uh, tags in there. Uh, the S Pen uh, quite visible on the back now. I suppose if uh, you're using the previous model and you're out and about and you're holding it in your hand and you're covering the back and someone's looking over, they can see it's a Samsung device but obviously the S Pen is quite well uh, hidden, quite neat in the bottom. The speaker grill has been moved to a new position on the bottom of the uh, new Note 3. But like I say, if you're holding it now from the back, certainly in uh, this sort of position and someone's uh, away from you, they can quite clearly see the S Pen poking out the bottom, which uh, denotes it's a uh, Samsung uh, Note 3. Uh, not so much of a fingerprint magnet, but when I'm touching the back, it is uh, leaving a dull sort of fingerprint mark on there, so it's not totally unmarkable, the back. Uh, like I say, size-wise, as you've seen from the uh, other reviews, not a great deal in it. More or less exactly the same sort of height, just a smidge taller on the uh, Note 3. Definitely thinner. The screen's obviously off on the Note 3, but I can see by looking at the uh, screen section it is bigger than the uh, Note 2. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Keep an eye on this channel and I'll get the uh, benchmarks and CPU tests and all the rest out and uh, we'll go uh, through it in depth. Thanks for watching, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I'll get more videos at you soon.